I want to show you my guinea pig setup. So I've got three of them here, one of them here. These are the Midwestern uh, cages. They come with a liner. This is Judy. That's Sonic. This is Doug. And that's Shadow. <laughs> babies hi good morning good morning my babies <laughs> I've got their cages covered up for the night but let me take off the, the blankets and the top and I'll show you what it looks like inside First, let's do a bit of spot cleaning. I've got a little handheld vacuum. This thing is great. I love having the porch area because I can feed them out here. Here they're eating apple. But I have foraged some stuff for them and I'm about to dump it into the porch area. <laughs> it allows me to interact with them even when they're, the tops are on the cages. So they'll come out and they'll eat out here in the porch. And let me show you what I use. Uh, I love these type of bathroom mats. They're very absorbent and the little poops get into little crevices and so they're not touching their little feet. Their feet are very sensitive and so you always have to keep their cage dry. And then I found these are like for washing um, your car. I found these at the 99 cent store. And I just do a slit on the side and slip them on here. They're the perfect size. Look at that. So the 99 cent store. And I've got them on all of the little on the little uh, openings here because you don't want this exposed they could um, break their little feet here okay and then um, I have an area for their hay here I just use one of the little hay bins that I had um, purchased online but I didn't this is when I first started uh, caring for my guinea pigs and I didn't know this thing wasn't gonna work out <laughs> but I've modified it so that all the hay just doesn't you know fall out of it okay I've got a little tunnel a little soft tunnel they love this thing when the cage when the top is on I I attach it to the top I've got some quality pellets for them and some snacks, some corn, and these wide mouth water bottles. I really like this brand. They sell it on uh, Amazon, but you will be replacing these. They're about $6.50, but you will have to replace them periodically. Okay. And I like these little strawberry beds this one is good too as long as you put something under it okay here's a hay rack that I just made myself by bending um, a CNC panel let me show you oops sorry Judy 
You see, I just bent it like this and I stick the hay in there. Keeps the hay from being on the floor, which, but it's still on there. <laughs> but otherwise the whole thing would be on the floor. They love this carrot, but I found it at a liquidation shop and I can't seem to find it again. I mean, I can't find it anywhere. Okay. And uh, so this is this, this is the Midwestern. Hi. And these are the CNC panels that I've used for the porch area. I just attach these with zip ties. Now let me show you what I uh, what I do for the um, for the bottom of the of the cages here. Even though this is waterproof, this liner that comes with the cage, I add another barrier. I put it uh, a, a bath mat. Then I do a fleece blanket, and then I have another bath mat over the top. And let me show you another option. Instead of a bath mat, I have these extra large um, washable pee pad thing, uh, reusable pee pads. They're for uh, hospitals or um, you know uh, if you have a, an elderly person that has incontinence or uh, a, a child that wets the bed these are great the extra large fits perfectly over the entire bed so this is um, it's bigger than two by four and then I have the the fleece and a bath mat. Oh, daddy's home. Gotta go. Bye.